what's going on YouTube you're watching Steel City Motor Vlogs I'm Derek T your host and already this episode should look a whole lot different than the ones you're used to seeing um, not because of the route you've probably seen me ride this route a million times during the day this is a night rider edition steel city motor vlogs it is friday night july 15th it's about 70 degrees outside and it's also maybe about 10 o'clock 11 o'clock all right it's 11 o'clock excuse me and just when i thought i was in for the night I got a call from a couple buddies who were out having a drink, so I said I would join them. Uh, they're not riders or anything else like that. I just figured it'd be a good night to get the gold wing out, take it for a ride. I'm rocking my green LEDs. And um, I'm on the highway right now, but when I get <laughs> when I get where I'm going, I'll hop off and show you the greens. But I'm uh, still white in the front, still white lights in the front. Um, it just lights up the road for me, man. I don't have any problems at all with visibility. I went all LED in the front um, a few months back. I changed out to LED well actually um, about a year or so ago I put an LED headlight on but I recently um, as of maybe about two months ago changed my running lights out um, to LEDs as well so between those and the light strips um, I mean I'm really really lit up here you say you can't see me out here on these streets at night you're blind it's definitely a whole lot more comfortable out right now than it was earlier in the day. I think the high was up around 88, 89 degrees earlier. It was good and hot um, and muggy to go along with it, but it's, it's a pretty good breeze out here now. I didn't wear a jacket, nor did I bring one with me because I didn't think I needed one, but I don't know, the ride home might prove me wrong on that. Tonight's destination is Mount Washington. Uh, for those of you all who are in the Pittsburgh area or from Pits the Pittsburgh area, you know Mount Washington well. It's not a bike night or anything else like that. So I'm just hanging out with a couple buddies. It's just that this is how I'm getting there. I can't think of any better way to do it. Can't think of a better way to do it. I didn't think there would be this much traffic at this time of night on this bridge. What are we doing? I'll fall back in right here. I just don't like being behind people who look like they don't know what they're doing. So yeah, we're just traveling up the side of the mountain here. Like I said, this is Mount Washington. The tunnel back there actually goes through the mountain. We're not going through the mountain, we're just going on top of the mountain. <laughs> 
a lot of people come up here for scenic views and they take pictures for formal events and weddings and proms and the like there's a, a lot of nice bars and restaurants up this way and everything and that's where i'm going tonight i'm on my way to to a bar to hang out with a couple people but i'm not necessarily a uh <laughs> an alcohol carnosaur <laughs> um my poison of choice is coke or pepsi i know it doesn't need to be but yeah i'm, I'm not really big on alcohol consumption and riding motorcycles or alcohol consumption and doing anything else for that matter um not a slight of people who do it's just not my thing This is Grandview Boulevard. Grandview Avenue. Boulevard? Avenue? Grandview Avenue. And just like everything else in Pittsburgh, it's under construction. I was going to see if I could get to a scenic overlook and get you all some views. But all that was under construction. Let's take it a little bit farther down. Okay, there's an overlook right there, so we'll do that on the way back. Most of the time when I come up here... Okay, there it is. I was going to say, most of the time that I come up here, I miss the turn. I miss this turn, thinking that it's one more street down. And it's not. My destination is going to be right here on my left. Now I'm just going to find a spot to park. That shouldn't be too difficult. Alrighty. Here, let me hop off. <laughs> there she is, lit up in green and white. I think it's a nice little combination. Got LEDs going around the front. I added these ones recently. Alright. It's not about the destination, but it's about the ride and how you look while you're doing it. All right, y'all. Go. Here is the view from up on Mount Washington. That's downtown Pittsburgh at night. Let's come down off the mountain and go see what's happening in the Steel City. Got her all lit up in green. All right, y'all, I'm back. Had a good time hanging out with some friends. Got a chance to see the city from Mount Washington. Now we're coming down off the mountain. I'm gonna head over to the North Shore. <laughs> We'll take a ride through there and then make our way home. I'm just not tired yet. This route here is kind of like the back door into uh, Pittsburgh's North Shore. We got so many different bridges. It's easy to choose any one of them at this time of night when there's no traffic. 
or no major sporting events going on. That's Rivers Casino. When I was Uber driving full time, I used to hang out there at all times of day and night. This was the money spot. Because the casino could always get rides and trips and especially good tips coming out of the casino. Especially if you happen to pick somebody up who won a little bit of money. <laughs> had a few drinks in them. Feeling a little extra generous. I don't know how anybody... Get... I know that light's going to turn green. I need it to hold for about... 10 more seconds. I don't know how anybody gets, uh, makes any money doing that ride share thing now. With gas prices being what they are, and with companies like Uber and Lyft who are constantly lowballing their drivers. They take a bigger cut. They decrease their prices overall and then take a bigger cut than what they used to. Kind of forces the drivers to have to work longer to make the same money. But um, like I said, I don't know how anybody's making anything if you gotta pay for your own gas. So, that's no longer a full-time hustle or a side hustle option for me. But there was a point in time where I almost lived in my car Ubering. I would leave the house on Monday morning and not come home <laughs> until I had made my weekly quota. Or if I did come home, it was briefly for a meal, take a shower, change clothes, get right back in the car. If I got a phone call, somebody wanted to hang out or something like that, I would go do that. And then when that particular activity was over, where are you going? I'm going home. I'm going back on the road. I'm getting in the car, getting back on the road. Pick up where I left off. I mean, I used to hustle that thing and make good money, but I wasn't paying the five, five twenty, five sixty for for gas either. So that's just not an option no more. This is the North Shore. Pretty much running between the two stadiums. <laughs> Heinz Field will always be Heinz Field. They renamed it, but it's going to be Heinz Field to me. Another hot spot on a Friday night. They renamed Heinz Field. <laughs> it's some company I never heard of before. I won't be calling it that. <laughs> this is PNC Park up ahead, the baseball stadium. And so this stretch, you got Heinz Field behind me and PNC Park in front of me. And nothing but bars and restaurants in between. It's a happening little spot on a Friday night. You do have to kind of have your head on a swivel. Well, there's not a kind of, you do have to have your head on a swivel down here because the drunks are out. The drunk drivers and the drunk pedestrians.
take a quick one through downtown and then get on the road. I live about maybe nine, ten miles from downtown. So I don't well road closed that way. Everything's under construction down here. You almost can't make a right in downtown Pittsburgh. go on past you let's see okay <laughs> all right y'all now I'm tired <laughs> I said I wasn't tired before but that was about maybe seven or eight minutes ago and Things have changed since about seven or eight minutes ago. So I'm hopping on the highway, leaving downtown. I'm on my way home for the night. <laughs> you all probably can't see through the trees, but off there to my right, we were up on top of that mountain earlier. <laughs> That's Mount Washington up there. But yeah, this was a good night to be out. Feels good, it's not too cold. It ain't too hot. It's kind of like a just right. kind of night if I was uh if I had more energy <laughs> or if there was something more interesting to do I'd continue the ride but now nah, I'm gonna take it on to the house I'll find some trouble to get myself into tomorrow the biggest thing for me especially for tonight was I wanted to get out and show off my lights a little bit because I don't get really get to do that during the daytime too much. Ever since I uh, added the new ones to the ones I already had, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I keep the white in the front it keeps me very well lit. See, this is another reason why I'm going home. Because it's, a, it's about 1.15, almost 1.30 in the morning. And the drunk drivers are out. And I guarantee you those two cars that just went flying past me. <laughs> have a few drinks in them. So this is not the time of night. to be out or if it is this is when your defensive driving has to be on high alert that's if you're in a car or on a motorcycle because these drunk fools they just they don't care and, by the, and usually without fail by the time you wake up in the morning, there's somebody on the news who died in a car accident on this stretch of highway. So, this is my exit here. I'm going home. Hey, thanks for riding with me, y'all. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you did. And um, until the next adventure, you're watching Steel City Motor Vlogs. I'm Derek T., your host. You all be safe out there.